Alan were at home to Bradford on Saturday. We're looking to bounce back from last weekend. Have you calmed down yet? Not really. Uh, I haven't stopped here. I haven't stopped trying to get someone else in to try and basically plug that gap that we've got in the middle of the park and it's it's causing a little bit of concern but we've just got to keep working. The lads, there's, there's something there. We know we've got enough there but it's just getting them in that confident mood and getting them playing. I thought some of the football we played again was decent but you can't, you can't defend like that. It, it doesn't matter who you play, you defend it, you're never going to win a game of football. And it, it's both games, unfortunately, and it, it hasn't changed. And it, it needs to change, it needs to change quickly. Some of them have got to step up. And I've asked them, and there will be changes on Saturday, without a doubt, there'll be changes. I'd be a fool not to make a change. But as a team and as a group, we've got to do better defensively without a shadow of a doubt and everyone can see that but attacking wise I thought it caused them all kinds of problems to be honest with the ball yeah. From your point of view though you must have been very frustrated on Saturday and then Monday I know you do your post match now on the field but you know we could sense from your body language that uh, you know you were frustrated about those two performances Oh without a doubt it's a, it seems to be the, the acceptance of it is a thing I didn't like when we are Accepting conceding a goal, we're not not enough people trying to like. I'm not. It's just schoolboy stuff, really. Now I kind of got into it too much because you see it, everyone sees it. You know, it's a basic stuff, just letting someone have a shot. You know, you're not clearing your lines properly. Stuff that you learn when you're a kid. That's a that's a basic stuff. If if we get the basics right, we'll win with games without a doubt because of what we've got. And we will play as I say, with the ball, we're a good side, but. We're probably our own worst enemy when we're with the ball because defensively we're not organised enough and I've been saying it for a long time now that we need that experience and that leader in there that, that's going to talk and organise and keep us switched on because at this moment in time we haven't got that. Your phone's been red hot trying to get hold of players, hasn't it? But uh, <laughs> you know, And you've had all sorts of opticals and reasons why players won't be released. It, it's a bit tough, isn't it? Very tough, very tough. It's... It, I thought it might have settled down a little bit with the window closing. I thought some might still, who wanted to get into the league, haven't got it. I might be able to get them in, but it's still extremely tough to get them out. And some of them don't want to come to this level. Some don't want to go part time. There's there's all kinds of reasons I'm getting at this minute. I've made a few inquiries for loan players, and even the league below, the the lads don't want to do the travelling. So it's. It is extremely tough out there. I've been up in Scotland, even trying to put mm. players from up there. So it's not as if we're not looking. It's just, and it needs to be the right one. By the way, mm. there's no point in me bringing a young kid in, 18, 19 year old, who's going to be exactly what we've got. It needs to be an experienced player who's played a good few hundred games, who's used to this level. Yeah. You also said as well, it's time for the players to stand up and be counted now, isn't it? It's uh, okay. There's only two games gone, but everybody would like to see the players stand up more and be more aggressive just be more ruthless Ray, mm. and uh, do the basics <laughs> that's all I'm, I'm not asking anything other than do the basics which is especially without the ball defensively it's it's something that's really bugging us and it's annoyed us all pre-season as well we haven't had the time to work on it in pre-season because of stuff and when we do work on it something then happens or you end up changing personnel and stuff like that and we've got to try and do something that will get us his first three points and get that confidence and that's it with the ball we've got enough ability there without a shadow of a doubt it's just we need to make sure that we we keep that back door shut yeah. really it's a case of more of the positives and none of the negatives on Saturday against Bradford isn't it we've got to be positive because that's what we are we are a positive team with the ball we like to be with the ball we're not a team that's going to sit back and defend and we're not good enough to do that. We need to be our teams and get our teams and dominate possession of the football. And That's why we need to be better at the back, organising. That's why we need the leader to be talking, to keep everyone in shape when we do lose possession. Because if you look at it on Monday, every time that ball went up, if an attack broke down, they sent a forward come out with it without having to do anything. When it went up to our centre forward, he's getting kicked, he's getting pulled, he's, he's, having, to, he's having to battle. And that's the difference. And if we do that, then I'm sure we'll come out with the ball nine times out of ten. But just allowing the centre forward to dictate how they play against it in both games, by the way, that, that, that's kind of gone. So it's going to be, like you say, one or two personnel changes and uh, a, f- a few instructions to the players look, be more aggressive when you're going for that ball against their centre forward. <laughs> it 
simple instructions where everyone can see. It's not, it's not up to me. Them see it, the lads see it. I think you could see the lads were getting frustrated by it on the pitch. I'm sure you've spoken to the lads and them were getting frustrated by it as well. And it's something that is easy remedied. It's not, it's not a tactical thing. Without a shadow of a doubt, it's nothing to do with tactics and technical stuff. It's basically having that desire and that aggression to go and be a defender and be disappointed. Don't don't get beat. Simple as that. Do, just be aggressive in everything you do. And if we add that to our team, we'll be fine because of what we've got with the ball.